All right, a former Trump campaign aide, George Papadopoulos, is uh, going to jail, but for all of 14 days. Uh, of course, he was the aide of the 2016 campaign who had apparently lied to the FBI, and there was a lot of back and forth about his possible ties to Russia, et cetera, how much he knew about and admitted to those ties and whether there were anyone else within the campaign uh, who might have been familiar. A judge slapping him with a 14-day uh, incarceration fine, 13 months of suspended release, 200 hours of community service, and a $9,500 uh, fine. You might recall as well that the Bob Mueller uh, task force looking into that had said that he had lied to agents about his contacts to Russians to minimize both his own role as a witness and to the extent of the campaign's knowledge of his contacts. Uh, of course, we'll get the details on this from the judge. We'll flesh out, obviously, this punishment a little bit more to get to the bottom of this now. Former DIJ prosecutor James Trusty. Um, what do you make of this, James? Uh, not a whole lot, Neil. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of low-hanging fruit. You know, what's really intriguing to me is how in the, in the Trump investigation, the Russia collusion investigation, these false statement charges are being used left and right. And so you've got a man going to jail for 14 days when really it's not anything directly involved with Russia or collusion. Um, and it's not to say false statements aren't serious, but that same type of charge was completely sworn off of the Hillary email investigation. So to me, the lingering issue is not going to be whether he should have got zero time or 14 days or two years. It's what's the discretion that the FBI and the prosecutors are using when it comes to these false statement charges. And clearly this one was an unsuccessful case. By the time of the sentencing, the prosecution was saying, we don't really care what happens to him. Yeah, well, to your point here, even his lawyers had said Mr. Papadopoulos' offense was unquestionably serious as he made materially false statements to FBI agents. Uh, however, they also claimed that the lies harmed the investigation and the views that they were more serious than that were speculative and contrary to, to all the evidence. So they're saying, let's calm down here. And that seemed to be, given the punishment meted out, what the judge's approach was. Right. I think the judge looked at it and said, look, it's always serious when people disrespect law enforcement and, and are dishonest with them. But he didn't he certainly didn't view it as something that had a dramatic effect on the Mueller probe. It just comes off eventually as a as a one off case, as a very small well, what, matter yeah, to that probe. Then, James, what do you think? Where, where does this fit? Uh, it, it seems to me this was an attempt at getting somebody to cooperate and it didn't work. And so they were stuck with a very mild, small prosecution of him. All right, James, thank you very, very much. By the way, to James' point, and he was very prescient on this, in delivering the sentence, the federal judge, Randolph Moss, had said he did get the sense that Papadopoulos does feel remorse and not simply for getting caught.